one uh, welcome friends today i will uh, tell you what is the difference between uh, at the rate controller and at the rate rest controller in spring boot so friends if we are if we are using uh, at the rate rest controller in our controller application uh, like uh, i have used at the rate rest controller and i have written a page uh, and i am uh, applied get mapping with slash and i am returning a page welcome to which is my html page so let's see what will happen when i request this page uh, you can see it uh, returns the um, string welcome to not the behind uh, working like it is a uh, uh, html page of timely so it's not returning that when i am using rest controller so let me use uh, only controller let's see what will happen uh, 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 let me tell you friend control shift o will uh, automatically add uh, uh, packages and dependencies uh, mainly packages in your project so whenever you use uh, c uh like uh, no package is added in your project then simply show uh, enter control shift o it will automatically uh, remove unnecessary packages and import necessary packages in your application uh, so let me try what will happen now so i just refresh it and you can see i got some I got some uh, output in JSON format. Uh, so here, this is some error. Uh, let me check why this doesn't work. Done. I can save it. No, I let me save it. Uh, the problem is I haven't uh, saved this page. So uh, I have saved this page, and now you can see uh, it returning the HTML page, not JSON format or anything else. So friends, uh, controller is uh, basically made for returning uh, static response like HTML, CSS, uh, JavaScript. So it will return, uh, it can render HTML page like we have seen it here. And if I use REST controller, then it will uh, return a output in JSON format. Or anything else, but not in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Um, so, friends, we can use uh, controller or REST controller as per our choice. So, what if we want to uh, return JSON format and also our HTML page both in same controller? So, friends, we do not need to do something else. We just add uh, at the rate, um, let me check once. Uh, at the rate, response for you. At the rate, response for you. And now, uh, this link will this link will behave as rest controller. So let me save it. Now check it. And now <coughs> I am getting an error. 
uh, so it's uh, my bad so uh, it actually returns a json format if data error doesn't uh, arrive then it will return a json format like we have seen in other example so for returning a json um, response just add response body if you are not making uh, your controller a rest controller if you are making rest controller then you will need not to use response body so uh, basically what we have learned uh, rest controller is equal to uh, response body response body plus controller and controller return html css html css and js output and uh, rest controller uh, rest controller return JSON format. So, friends, here it is. If you like my video, do share it, do like, do subscribe my channel. So, thank you for watching video.